Hello everyone. Welcome to National Defense Institute YouTube series. This is fourth part of trigonometry series. In these sessions, we explore questions which had come earlier in National Defense Academy entrance examinations. Let's move on to the first question. So first question says, if 1 plus 10 theta into 1 plus 10 9 theta is equal to 2, what is the value of 10 10 theta? So simple question, we just have to be cautious of opening the identity. Let's see what it is. So when you open these brackets, it will be 1 plus 10 9 theta plus 10 theta plus 10 theta 10 9 theta is equal to 2. So this will go here, this will become 1 and you see 10 9 theta plus 10 theta 1 minus 10 theta 10 9 theta this go there. That means it will become 10 9 theta plus 10 theta is equal to 1 minus 10 theta 10 9 theta whole thing comes into the new in the denominator so 10 9 theta plus 10 theta divided by 1 minus 10 theta 10 9 theta is equal to 1 so you will realize that this is a very familiar equation and the left hand side is nothing but 10 9 theta plus theta is equal to 1 which means what we wanted to find 10 10 theta is equal to 1 okay therefore the second option is correct option moving on to the next question okay this is a very recent question came in the year 2022 and it has its own beauty okay let's see how to solve this can you tell how many terms are there in this series so 10 20 it's like 37 terms okay they are all total 37 terms okay so what we will do, we will look at sine 0 and sine 360, the front end and the back end. So sine 0 plus sine 360. What will be the next term here? Sine 10 and what will be next term here? Sine 350. But we will write it as sine 360 minus 10 okay similarly here sine 20 and the last term here will be sine 340 but we will write it as sine 360 minus 20 okay and we keep on doing that they are 37 terms so how they will be opened they will be 18 plus 1 plus 18 meaning 18 terms on the left hand side 18 terms on the right hand side and one term exactly in the middle what is that middle term so 18th term we know what will be the 19th term here that that is what the middle term right so 19th term how do you find so sine 10 is second term sine 20 is third term sine 30 is fourth term so if i wanted sine if i wanted 18th after the 18th term that is 19th term it will be sine 180 okay so what will be this giving me sine 0 plus sine 10 plus sine 20 sine 180 and sine 360 
Now I put minus or plus, it doesn't matter because sine 360 is 0. But what is sine 360 minus theta? Sine 360 minus theta is minus sine theta, right? So it is minus sine 10. What is sine 360 minus 20? Minus sine 20. Minus sine 20. And that pattern will go on. So this term is sine 10 cancelling minus sine 10, sine 20 cancelling minus sine 20. This is anyway 0. This is also anyway 0. Every term from left to right will be cancelled remaining with just sine 180 which is again 0. Therefore, the whole sum will be 0. Okay. So, therefore, the second option is correct. Moving on to next question. Next question asks, if 10 alpha plus 10 beta is equal to 1 minus 10 alpha 10 beta, which by now you must be very familiar that what kind of expression it is, then which one of the following is the values of alpha plus beta? Very simply, we can solve it. So this is nothing but when you bring the right hand side to the denominator, this will be 10 alpha plus 10 beta divided by 1 minus 10 alpha 10 beta and the assurance that 10 alpha 10 beta is never 1 allows us to make this as a denominator which is a very familiar expression of 10 alpha plus beta is equal to 1 1 you always know it is 10 pi by 4 also implies alpha plus beta is pi by 4 just to remind you, it is not the only angle which gives you 1. Okay, There are many others also. Okay, But among the options, this one fits. Okay, Therefore, alpha plus beta must be pi by 4. Okay, next question. What is the value of cosec? minus 73 pi by 3. So, just a small suggestion always, whenever you see some big multiple of pi, try to reduce it as small as possible. Okay. So, how can we write cosec minus 73 pi by 3? We can write it as cosec minus 72 pi minus pi by 3 by 3. Right? It is the same thing. So, what is minus 72 by 3? Minus 2, 4 pi, minus 5 by 3. Now, if you remember, cosec is nothing but 1 upon sine. And sine or whatever cosec is, it has a period of 2 pi. So, you add or subtract multiples of 2 pi. It doesn't matter. So, this is equivalent to zero thing. What we are left with is only cosec minus pi by 3 and which is simply 1 divided by minus root 3 into 2 which is minus 2 by root 3. Okay. So, therefore, the second option is correct. Moving on to next question. Okay, now at a first glance you would realize there are two options which you can do. Either go for 2 cos a cos b or go for cos a plus cos b. Which one to choose is a matter of experience. Okay, so what we will do, we will use cos a plus cos b first. So, if you remember what is cos a plus cos b, it is 2 cos a plus b by 2 cos a minus b by 2. So, applying it first here, 2 cos a plus b by 2 means 12 pi by 17 by 2, which is 6 pi by 17 into cos a minus b by 2. So, 5 minus 7 minus 2 pi 
but cos is there so minus doesn't matter divided by 2 means pi by 17 now as soon as you open this expression 11 pi by 17 remaining terms cos pi by 17 is common in both terms that is the advantage of going cos a plus cos b okay so taking 2 cos pi by 17 common and having the remaining terms as cos 6 pi 17 plus cos 11 pi by 17 sorry 11 pi by 17 now cos a plus cos b again so cos a plus cos b is now 2 into cos pi by 17 2 times of cos 6 plus 11 which is 17 pi by 17 divided by 2 it's just pi by 2 now you know it will be cos of somebody but we don't write it because we already know everything is in product and this one is a 0 so you don't need to even go for finding what is this number Okay. Ultimately, the product will be 0. That is what we wanted. So, the first option is correct. Moving on to next question. What is the value of 10 3 pi by 8? Now, see, 3 pi by 8 is a very common number which you will encounter with. The most common strategy is to double this angle, okay? Because after doubling, it will become 3 pi by 4, which is nothing but pi by 2 plus pi by 4. So you can always end up with pi by 4. But the point is how to double it, okay? What is the most common and uh, I mean common sense to handle it? So 10, 3 pi by 8 is nothing but sin 3 pi by 8 divided by cos 3 pi by 8 now see what are the ways to double this angle if i had somehow cos 3 pi by 8 here then it will be 2 sin theta cos theta so i can do uh, sin 2 theta or uh, there is no square so i cannot bring cos 2 theta so the most uh, first idea to handle this is to multiply it with cos 3 pi by 8 and also getting 2 here to balance it 2 here cos square 3 pi by 8 so numerator is fine it is going to be uh, sine 2 into 3 pi by 8 what about the denominator so as soon as you see cos square 2 cos square in fact the identity which should come to your mind is cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 but why not minus 1 is not there bring it minus 1 plus 1 okay so this becomes sin 3 pi by 4 divided by this is cos 2 theta cos 3 pi by 4 plus 1 okay 3 pi by 4 means pi by 2 plus pi by 4 so sine 90 plus pi by 4 is what cos pi by 4 so numerator is cos pi by 4 what is cos pi by 2 plus pi by 4 minus sine pi by 4 right so minus sine pi by 4 plus 1 now you very well know what is sine pi by 4 cos pi by 4 we just have to write it so this is 1 by square root 2 divided by 1 minus 1 by root 2 so after taking numerator it is just 1 upon square root 2 minus 1 which is after rationalizing equal to square root 2 plus 1 okay so the second option is correct moving on to next question okay so next question says what is the value of cos 36 minus cos 72 
Of course, the first common sense is to bring cos 36, I mean cos A minus cos B identity. That might also help, but you also realize this is 36 double is 72. Okay, so how to bring it in a coherence? So let's see. So cos 36, we will write it as first cos 36 minus the the first rule bring bigger angles to smaller angles cos 90 minus 18 okay this is cos 36 what is cos 90 minus theta minus uh, plus sine theta so this stays minus sine 18 and this we will write it as cos 2 into 18 cos 2 theta minus sin theta 2 cos square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin square theta ok so cos 2 theta 1 minus 2 sin square 18 minus sin 18 why we are bringing down to everything in 18 because we know the value of sine 18 okay always remember the value of sine 18 sine 18 is root 5 minus 1 by 4 okay so it is just a calculation of 1 minus 2 square root 5 minus 1 by 4 whole square minus square root 5 minus 1 by 4 okay so when you take the LCM this will come as 16 and uh, first term is 16 minus 2 the square will open so this is root 5 plus 1 which is 6 minus 2 root 5 this is minus 4 times of this so minus 4 root 5 plus 4 so you see minus 2 minus 2 root 5 plus 4 root 5 minus root 5 so this cancels this is 16 minus 12 plus 4 so 20 minus 12 is 8 so it is just 8 by 16 which is equal to 1 by 2 okay simple calculation the basic fact to remember is this value always remember this value okay so third option is correct moving on to next question what is the value of tan square 165 degrees plus cot square 165 degrees as always bring the bigger angles into smaller angles so tan square 180 minus 15 plus cot square 180 minus 15 this is what is 10 180 minus theta well it will be plus or minus 1 but it does not matter because a square is present so anyway it is 10 15 10 square 15 plus cot square 15 now 15 is a number which we will always write as 45 minus 30 because we know every trigonometric value in terms of 45 and 30 so you will realize that this is nothing but 10 square plus 1 upon 10 square. If I know what is 10, 15, then I can do everything. So what is 10, 15? 10, 15 is 10, 45 minus 30. Now I do 10, A minus B, which is 10, A minus 10, B upon 1 plus 10, A, 10, B. After rationalizations and everything, what you will get is finally 2 minus root 3. Okay, so 10 15 is this, and what is cot 15? Cot 15 is nothing but 1 upon 2 minus root 3. Again, rationalization it will be 2 plus root 3. So 10 square 15 means 2 minus root 3 whole square cot square 15 means 2 plus root 3 whole square meaning 4 
plus 3 minus 2 minus 2 square root 3 plus 4 plus 3 minus plus 2 square root 3 so this cancels 7 plus 7 is 14 okay so second option is correct option moving on to next question what is the value of sine 2n pi plus 5 pi by 6 sine 2n pi minus 5 pi by 6 now you would by now have guessed that this is going to be the first period of I mean you need to use the period function of sine okay okay so what is sine any multiple of 2 pi plus 5 pi by 6 it is sine 5 pi by 6 and sine any multiple of 2 pi minus 5 pi 6 is minus sine 5 pi 6 so this is nothing but minus sine square 5 pi by 6 and again bringing the bigger angles to smaller angles what is 5 pi by 6 first of all or we can do directly pi minus pi by 6 so sine pi minus theta is sine theta so minus sine square pi by 6 meaning sine 30 right minus sine 30 is 1 by 2 whole square so minus 1 by 4 is the correct answer which is the first option let's move to next question okay so it's a good question because we are going to learn a lot from this sine a is 1 by root 5 and cos b is 3 by root 10 we are asked to find what is cos what is a plus b equal to okay so during the entrance test we need to be very fast at calculation okay so if you have sin a what is cos a it is square root 1 minus sin square a so 1 minus 1 by 5 so 2 by root 5 right and what is sin b sin b is 1 minus cos square b square root so 1 minus 9 by 10 1 by 10 1 by root 10 okay so we are going to find what is cos a plus b equal to cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so cos a cos b is 2 here 6 root 5 root 10 minus sin a sin b 1 upon root 5 root 10 basically 5 divided by root 5 root 10 so what is it this is just 1 upon root 2 okay why it is root 10 is root 5 root 2 so root 5 root 5 is just 5 cancels so root 2 remains implies cos a plus b is 1 by root 2 which is nothing but cos pi by 4 therefore a plus b is pi by 4 okay so sometimes we have to bring more equations more numbers and use a little common sense okay so pi by 4 means second option is correct moving on to next question for which acute angle theta cos x square is equal to 3 root 3 cot theta minus 5 now particularly in these type of questions when you know this is 60 30 45 you just don't know I mean you, you know the trigonometric values of every function for these angles okay and they are simple angles cosec and cot so don't waste time in solving these questions just directly plug in the entries okay so if you have pi by 4 
cot pi by 4 is 1 okay 3 root 3 minus 5 but cosec square theta is 2 so that's not equal pi by 4 cannot be an option and pi by 6 which is 30 so what is cosec square 30 which is 3 root 3 cot 30 minus 5 okay cosec square 30 is 4 3 square root 3 cot 30 is 1 by root uh, cot 30 is root 3 not equal so pi by 6 not an option similarly 60 cosec square 60 is it equal to 3 root 3 cot 60 minus 5 cos x square 60 is 1 upon sin square 60 so sin square 60 is root 3 by 2 whole square so 4 by 3 and 3 square root 3 cot 60 is what so cot 60 is also whatever is that number it is not going to be equal to 4 by 3 because you have square root 3 root 3 so don't waste time in calculating 5 by 3 cannot be an option only option which remains is the first option we have not found by direct method which will take a lot of time we have eliminated the wrong options and we are just remained with one option that must be correct that is what NDA looks for okay next question so this question asks that there are two two elements involved what is the relation in terms of cos of those elements so it's just uh, opening up the identities so let's bring it adding one to both sides you'll get to know in a minute why 2 tan square psi plus 2 the reason was to utilize the fact that 2 can come as common and this will be 1 plus 10 square psi this is 1 plus 10 square theta so both can be utilized as sec square theta 2 times of sec square psi okay so this can be written as cos square psi equal to 2 cos square theta and as soon as you see 2 cos square theta you should get reminded of minus 1 so minus 1 so minus 1 is one side minus 1 is here so this is minus of sine square psi this is cos 2 theta which is what our expression is in terms right implies cos theta cos 2 theta is minus sine square psi we just have to balance it now we want to break it in terms of cos 2 psi so minus 2 2 balanced 1 minus here plus 5 minus 1 so this thing is cos 2 theta cos 2 psi so cos 2 psi minus 1 by 2 is equal to cos 2 theta Okay, so cos theta is cos 2 psi minus 1 by 2, meaning the third option is correct. Next question. Okay, if a plus b plus c is equal to pi by 2, what is the value of this expression? Very simple question. We just have to bring common elements. Okay, utilizing the first two and not touching the third taking 10b common it is 10a plus 10c plus 10c 10a applying 10a plus c which is 10a plus 10c upon 1 minus 10a 10b 10c this is nothing but 10a plus c the reverse identity into 1 minus 10a 10c 
plus 10c 10a so that is here that's where you utilize this a plus b plus c is pi by 2 so a plus c is what 10 b into 10 90 minus b into 1 minus 10a 10c plus 10a plus 10c 10a 1090 minus theta is cot theta so this is cot b this is 10b cancels each other by 1 1 minus 10a 10c plus 10a 10c this cancels with this ultimately only one remains okay so second option is correct moving on to next question next question is if a is equal to 41 pi by 12 what is this value so this is a direct question and you should remember the identity that we mostly generally use sin 3 theta or cos 3 theta but 10 3 theta is also there okay so remember 10 3 theta is 3 10 theta minus 10 cube theta divided by 1 minus 3 10 square theta okay so you using this you would be able to get that this is nothing but 1 upon 10 3a right and 1 upon 10 3a means 1 upon 10 3 into 4 41 pi by 12 which is 10 41 pi divided by 4 okay and 41 pi divided by 4 bring it in 1 divided by 10 40 pi plus pi divided by 4 this is 10 pi and the period of 10 function is pi so any multiple of pi you add or subtract it doesn't matter so this is really just 1 upon 10 pi by 4 and 10 pi by 4 you know this is just 1 okay so second option is correct moving on to next question what is 10 seven and a half degrees so again you need to be cautious of which direction to go this is 7.5 either you can go half one third one fourth or you can go double or triple okay so double means 15 trip and triple means something again in decimal but you know how to handle 15 15 will always be written as 45 minus 30 so strategy is to somehow bring 7.5 to 15 and then using 15 as 45 minus 30 okay so how to do that what is this this is sine 7.5 divided by cos 7.5 so let's write it sine 7.5 cos 7.5 i want to double it i know one identity sine 2 theta i want 2 theta somehow so balancing it cos 7.5 with a square here and 2 here, 2 here. So numerator is sine 15, can be handled. Denominator is minus 1, plus 1. Okay. So this becomes sine 15 divided by cos 15 plus 1. Okay. So what is now remaining? bringing 15 to 45 minus 30 so how do you find sine 15 sine 15 is nothing but sine 45 minus 30 you do sine a cos b minus cos a sine b after all the calculations what you will get is 
root 6 minus root 2 divided by 4. Okay. Similarly, cos 15 is cos 45 minus 30. Cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. You know cos 45, sin 30, everything you know. And it will turn out as root 6 plus root 2 by 4. Okay. Now we just have to plug in these informations into this expression. So this is just root 6 minus root 2 divided by 4 divided by root 6 plus root 2 divided by 4 plus 1 which is just when you take LCM this is going to be root 6 minus root 2 divided by root 6 plus root 2 plus 4 okay so you can rationalize it from either direction and after that you will find that it is simply this expression root 6 minus root 3 plus square root 2 minus 2 okay simple rationalization and nothing else make sure that you do the calculations with peaceful mind keep track of plus and minus signs and everything will set in its place okay so this is nothing but the third option next question okay very simple question what is this expression equal to in terms of tan and cot so opening sin x divided by cos x 1 plus cos x as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 1 plus 2 cos square x by 2 minus 1 1 cancels 2 cancels square cancels and you are just sin x by 2 cos x by 2 which is sin x by 2 cos x by 2 which is nothing but 10 x by 2 very simple question just a repeated use of sin 2 theta and cos 2 theta so 10 x by 2 third option next question again 10 a is half 10 b is 1 by 3 what is a plus b most of you would be able to guess what to do bring in 10 a plus b that's right 10 a plus b is 10 a plus 10 b 1 minus 10 a 10 b 6 so keep your calculations fast 5 by 6 5 by 6 1 which is nothing but 10 pi by 4 implies a plus b is pi by 4 okay therefore the second option is correct Make sure that you know it is not the only angle to hold one. Okay, There are many others but the options given to us has this option. Okay, So next question. The only way to go forward of course yes we can make it as a small angle bring bigger angles to small angles. So this can be done as uh, so sin 15 sin 90 minus 15 and sin 90 minus 15 is what? It is cos 15. Very good. So half of 2 half of sin 30 and what is sin 30? 1 by 2 therefore 1 by 4. Simple expression, no need to think too much, have a common sense, go ahead. 1 fourth, first option is correct. Moving to next question. Huh. So 10a is 3 by 4. 10b is minus 12 by 5. 
how many wall values can cot a minus b have this is have depending on the actual values of a and b okay sometimes nda people put uh, so much things to confuse you that it it becomes a difficult to go ahead but again keep common sense with you okay so cot a minus b just randomly what it will be 1 upon 10 a minus 10 1 upon 10 a minus b and what is 10 a minus b 10 a minus 10 b 1 plus 10 a 10 b okay we know what is 10 a and 10 b are so point is how many values can this take okay so if you look at the graph of 10 theta it goes like this this is pi by 2 this is minus pi by 2 so from minus infinity to plus infinity where is 3 by 4 3 by 4 is somewhere here okay and where is minus 12 by 5 it is somewhere here now in this specific strip which is the principal values there is nobody else which takes the value 3 by 4 right it's a it's a it's it's only taken by one angle which is present here similarly minus 12 by 5 is taken by only one angle nobody else takes this angle, takes this value so when nobody else takes the value 3 by 4 or minus 12 by 5 then a and b are some kind of unique right in this strip of course if they had to consider other strips either they would have given some limitation on how far we need to go from right hand side or left hand side but since no information is given and also the options are finite in number that means common sense says we just have to focus only on one strip therefore in this strip 3 by 4 minus 12 by 5 are taken by only one angles therefore this expression is also unique we don't need to evaluate it therefore answer is just one okay that is the smartest question in this series okay so let's move on to the next question alpha plus beta is pi by 4 what is this 1 plus 10 alpha 1 plus 10 beta you would often see these type of products the only way to handle it bring the 10 identity okay so 10 alpha plus beta must be 10 pi by 4 open it 10 alpha plus 10 beta 1 minus 10 alpha 10 beta which is 1 send the denominator to RHS 10 alpha plus 10 beta bring the RHS to LHS equal to 1 take the common so when you will take the common you will realize that 10 beta taken as common 1 plus 10 alpha equal to 1 okay now 1 plus 10 alpha is there if I had just one more then our job would be easier add it now take 1 plus 10 alpha common so 1 plus 10 alpha this is 1 plus 10 beta now you can see our expression has been cooked it is equal to 2 okay 
So third option is the correct option. Always remember when the identities of the form 1 plus 10A, 10B, I like that. Bring the 10 identity. Okay. Next question. Uh, again, very common sense full question okay it's like sine a plus sine b plus sine c is 3 do not go in expanding sine a plus sine b make use of common sense sine has the maximum value as 1 these are giving you the sum to be 3 it means all of them are at their maximum otherwise the sum would be less than 3 it means that sin A is 1, sin B is 1, and sin C is 1. That means you can easily find what is cos A. Sin square plus cos square is 1, which is 0 now. Cos B is 0, cos C is 0. And you want the sum of all these numbers. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 is just a 0. Okay. So, second option is correct. Next question. Okay. So, cos 2 pi by 3, cos 4 pi by 3. How to handle this? First, utilize the information in a, in a sensible way. Okay. So, write it as x is equal to y cos pi minus pi by 3 bringing the bigger angles to smaller angles z times cos pi plus pi by 3 x is equal to y what is cos pi minus theta cos pi minus theta is minus cos theta so minus cos 60 meaning it is minus y by 2 okay z into what is cos pi plus theta cos pi plus theta is minus cos theta so minus cos pi by 3 again minus z by 2 okay so ultimately after just a, a reformulations you will get bringing 2 to the numerator and adjusting minus signs this is 2x equal to minus y minus z but minus here y and z okay now bring in our x y plus y z plus z x write y and z in terms of minus 2x so x into what is y y is minus 2x y is minus 2x what is z z is also minus 2x what is z Min minus 2x into x so minus 2x square plus 4x square plus minus 2x square so this cancels both that means simply zero smooth and clean solution okay so zero is the option next question Okay, sin A is again 2 by root 5, cos B is again 1 by root 10. We have seen similar question in this series. Now, make a guess what is the strategy if you remember. Right, so bringing in all sin and cos values and utilizing sin a plus b or cos a plus b whatever can be done so cos a square root 1 minus sin square b calculations should be fast 1 minus 4 by 5 meaning 1 by 5 in the square root so 1 by root 5 sin b square root 1 minus 1 by 10 meaning square root 9 by 10 3 by root 10 Okay. get sin a plus b sin a plus b means sin a cos b 
plus sin a sin plus cos a sin b. So this is 2 divided by root 5 root 10 plus 3 divided by root 5 root 10. This is nothing but 5 root 5 root 10 which is again 1 by root 2 and sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. Comparing these two things will get you a plus b is finally pi by 4. Okay. Pi by 4, uh, it's not in the option. I think pi by 4 needs to be added. Let's make our own option. Pi by 4 is the correct option. Okay. Next question. 10a is x plus 1, 10b is x minus 1, then x square 10a minus b has what value? Opening this x square, 10a minus b is 10a minus 10b. One plus ten a ten b. So x square ten a is x plus one minus x minus one. So minus x plus one one plus x plus one into x minus one. X square x cancels. This is just a two. 1 plus a plus b a minus b x square minus 1 1 cancels x square cancels it's just 2 okay simple calculation fourth option is correct moving on to next question very good question it is the showstopper for this video you need to find the correct ordering of these four numbers okay let's bring in the graph of 10 so 0 minus pi by 2 pi by 2 the graph of 10 comes like this okay pi by 6 so we might need to go a little let's adjust the indices so this is pi by 2 and this is again 3 pi by 2 this is pi And this is 0, this is minus pi by 2. Okay, so graph of 10 goes like this. Similarly, it goes like this. Now, where is 10 pi by 6? So, pi by 6 is 30 degrees, right? So, this is 30. So this is the value, this is number 1, okay, 10, 30. Where is 3 pi by 4? So 3 pi by 4 means uh, pi by 2 plus pi by 4. So you would be somewhere here, pi by 2 plus pi by 4. That means this is the second value. Where is 10 pi by 4? meaning pi plus pi by 4. So pi plus pi by 4 is somewhere here. In middle, this is the third value. Okay. So you see, this is 30, 10, 30, right? 45 would be somewhere here. So this 45 must be this. So 1 must be less than 3, obviously. Okay. 10 to pi by 3 is 120 degrees. So where is 120? So 120 is, so this is 90, this is, uh, this is 180, 
90 180 so this is uh, 90 plus 45 135 120 would be somewhere here so this is the fourth value okay so you can easily make out what should be the correct sequence at the top 3 then 1 then 2 then 4 okay starting from bottom fourth is the smallest number then 2 is bigger then 1 is bigger then 3 is bigger okay 4 2 1 3 4 2 1 3 is the second option sometimes you have to be analytical in utilizing the identity sometimes you should think graphically okay so thank you for watching keep coming up to see the videos this will be a great learning for all of you you can learn a lot national defense institute youtube series all the best